And new at 5 o'clock, the way you get rid of your trash could soon change. In the last hour, the city adopted a new zero waste plan that calls for all trash to be reused by 2040. Well, 10 News reporter Vanessa Van Hefty is joining us live. And Vanessa, the city says that the landfill is full and something now has to be done. Yeah, Kimberly, it's trash day here tomorrow in Rancho of Penasquitos. But the city says people still are not using these blue bins like they should, and it is creating a huge mess at landfills. Gail Sexton recycles nearly everything. We're very pro recycling. But the city says, as a whole, we're not doing a good job. There's only a 25% compliance. And here is the proof all of that stuff could have easily been recycled. We went to the city's dump and found people are throwing away money. There's a big plastic water bottle right there. Again, that's a dime. I think that has a dime CRV on it. So there's a dime basically being thrown away. Here's a, a beer bottle. Again, probably another dime. So 10, 20, 30 cents right here thrown away. There's very little now that can't be put into those blue bins, but it's ending up here. This is the city's only active landfill. It's nearly full, set to close in 2025. It's no longer a hole. You can see it's leveled out with over a million tons of waste. Now the city is hoping to extend its life by making sure you recycle with a new set of rules. We're going to have to take a hard look and, and become Big Brother and start going through and looking at trash cans through our residents' trash cans and, and making sure people are recycling. The city will roll out new education tools on how to recycle. Sexton says the teaching can never start too early. Bombs away! Yay! And there are enforcement officers on the street right now checking this, but at this point they're just handing out warnings. They're not talking fines at this point. The name of the game is to educate people, they say. Reporting live from Rancho Penasquitos, Vanessa Van Hefty, 10 News. Very important education. And in order for the city to meet its 2020 goal of diverting 75% of waste away from the landfill, the city will need to divert an additional 332,000 tons of waste every year over the next five years.